Okay. Okay, this is our combo heat press machine, 8 in 1 combo. This size is uh, 32 cm by 45 cm size. And this is the mark pipe part, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 mark pies. And this is the dish plate pad, 1, 2. And this is the cut pad. This is the heating plate. It's aluminum plate, okay, this is bottom. Now we can see this is the control power. And this is the temperature and the time and the counter 3 in 1 controller. First, we press this button once. File P means temperature setting mode. Now we can press this up idle to increase temperature and this down idle to decrease temperature. Normally, we set it to 210 degree for submission transfer. And then press this button <coughs> second time. File reverse F means time setting mode. Now we could press this up idle to increase time and this down and decrease time. Normally we set it 30 seconds for submission transfer. And then press this button, last time finish setting. The first line is the temperature and the time and this is the counter. Once the machine press one time, it will count one. If you want to clean up the machine, just press this down idle for about five seconds. This counter will blink up and then will become zero. Okay, zero. Now we test the machine. <coughs> First, we adjust the, the pressure. The and the clockwise row it uh, is increase the pressure and anti-clockwise to to decrease the pressure. And then we press this handle, feel the pressure. If it's a bit hard, means the pressure just is fine. Okay. Now we just move it ahead. And this is the bottom plate, sponge, and this is the silicon pipe. Okay. Now we display this <coughs> fabric on the bottom page. It must be smooth. And this is submission paper. The face, the paper is the face down the fabric. And then we just move it here, and then press down the handle, and then press this down. It's calm down. Once it's finished, it will become zero, and then we can take the dual product. Okay, it's finished. Press this, and then lift from this, and move it ahead. This car is just the It's very beautiful and bright. Okay. Okay. Now we test another function for you. First, we have to take off the power off and then take this out. And then just <coughs> take it out. And then use this screwdriver <coughs> to loosen it. Anti clockwise joint to be loosened. Remember not to loosen, otherwise, the screw will be uh, drop out. And then take it away. Okay. Now we test the, this is the dish plate pad. Now we have to take it on the it's the T slot. Now we use this screw. This is the <coughs> cross screw driver. Just the clockwise row it it will be fastened. Remember must be fastened and otherwise it will drop out if not fastened. Okay. And then, like this, this is the a slot here. We just fix it to the right side. And then, just take it in. And then, just fasten this cover, okay. <coughs> now we just power on the it.
First, we have to <coughs> we have to just adjust the pressure of them for the dish printing. We already just uh, we first we take it off and we adjust the pressure for you. Remember, the pressure must be enough. Just. <coughs> Likewise, to fasten the pressure, press down it and feel the pressure is a little hard to press down, then it will be okay. Okay, it's enough. Just feel the handle a little hard to press down. The temperature we look at first, we press this button. VLP temperature setting. Normally we uh, we set two hundred and ten for for dish printing also, but we need longer time. And the file reverse F means time setting. We need the one hundred and twenty two uh, seconds for submission transfer for the ceramic parts. And then press this finish setting. Now we're waiting. Once it reached to two hundred and ten. We can do the printing. Now we just finish this. You can see it's the summation paper. And this is the hand temperature tape. Just that we have to make sure it's in the middle. Use this tape to, to stick on. Okay. Make sure. Okay, and we wait till it reaches the red temperature degree. It's okay, this year. Put in the middle, and the plate must be perfect, fit the size of the bottom of the paper, and then press down. Press this button to come down. Okay, finished. Press this button to stop the ring. Then move ahead and take out this. It's very hot, so must be careful. It's 
my beautiful his dog. <laughs> okay. Now we can we can see another function for you. First we take off the power and then take off this connection. This is aviation connector. Now we test the can you see this is the marked part. The slot must be the hole must fit to the back side. Okay. Once it's inside, just fasten this. And then <coughs> take on the power off the mug pipe. We need the same temperature and time for the, the ceramic mug printing. The two hand. 210 degrees for the ceramic mug and 120 seconds for the mission transfer mug. Okay, and then we wait for each temperature. This is the mug, okay, already taped down, but we just will show you how it sticked on it. can see it's very beautiful this is the mark this is some inch paper but first we have to adjust the pressure of this mark first we put it inside and feel the handle if it's a little hard to press down if it's too easy just uh, just fasten the pressure by <coughs> this if you clockwise draw it the pressure will be, will be decreased. If you anti-clockwise rate, the pressure will be increased, like this. Now it's a little hard. It's enough, okay. And then we take out it, and then we stick it on this paper. The paper is in the middle of the, of the mark, okay. Each part must be in the middle. Okay, use this tape to stick on. In the middle of our milk, okay, in the middle. And then we wait to the temperature and then print it. Remember the mug and the plate is the same, same temperature and same time, 210 degree and, uh, and 120 seconds for summation transfer, okay? Look at duck is very cute. Cute duck. Okay, it's almost there. We put it in the middle. Remember the handle must be in the middle. And then feel the pressure. The pressure is, if it's too hard, just loosen the pressure, okay? If it's too easy, fasten the pressure a little, okay? Okay, then press this button. It will come down. You know the the, the mug pipe is the mug is very low degree, so it will inhale the 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 heart from this 
multiplied. So it's okay if the temperature degree just lower a little. It's okay. No inflation to the marks. And you can see this is the first, first uh, insert screw. If you want to change the mark pad, you just take off this, take off this, remember this out, and one, two, three, four, four pieces of this long screw, and then we can take the mark pad out and change to this one. It's the same. Just move it inside, here to here. So it's very easy. Okay, it's okay. Just press this button to stop the the ring. Okay, and then take off this. It's very, very hot, so it must be careful. It's better take the it here. Wow, very beautiful. So that's ha, <laughs> very cute ducks. So cute. Okay. And I know. Now we have to show you how to change the mug. Okay, first we take it out, and then you this little heart. It's very easy to take it out. Let's be careful. It's very hot here, so okay here, and then you can see. It's the same. First, you take it here, here, and then here inside. You can see now it's very easy. And then connect this, still same. Like the others, just okay. Okay, now we try another function of the machine. Okay, we still have one last function. First, we have to take off this. This is the mark pad, the plate, uh, dish pad. Dish pad is not too hot, so we can take it out with hand. But be careful, it's still a little warm. First, we have to take out this. You can see it's the it's the fasten. First, we take it out, and then we lift it out. You can see it's a hole here. It's a hole. Okay, if we want to insert just the whole price the different side. Okay. Now is the mark first we the, the cut part. Okay. First we have to the screw must fit to the slot. It is slot. And use this screwdriver, it's the cross screwdriver. To fasten it. Okay. Must be fastened, otherwise it will drop out. Okay. Same. This is the hole. The hole still fits to the, the back side of the hole. The aviation connector. Okay. <coughs> and then take it down. And then you can see the cap part we have a hole here and the hole should fit to the front side and then this must be inside now to just fasten it. Okay, it's the cap part now. First we turn on the power. We just the the, the temperature and the time. First the, we press this file PMS temperature setting mode. 
normally we use 130 degree for submission transfer for the mark for the cap okay and then the time normally we use eight seconds you could adjust it freely okay and then let's fit it to heat up And you can see this is the cap. Now we this is the sticker. We have to put it in front of this part. And <coughs> now let's try this here. And then we could adjust the pressure first. If we clockwise draw it, the pressure will be increased. If we anti-clockwise draw it, the pressure will be decreased. And then you press down, then you, you feel the handle a little hard to press down, and then the pressure is enough. Okay. Now let's wait until the temperature reaches the better uh, degree. Now we just print the, the cap for you. It's the sticker, and this is the cap. We just press it here. Okay. First, we just put it here, and then put here, and then just put it here. Remember, it must be in the middle, and then press down it. And then press down, and you can down. Okay, take it off. It's cold draping, so we have to wait till it's very cold. Okay, it's finished. Very beautiful. It's our cap machine.